hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you in this video uh, another project another java based web project which is called the library management system so the project is completely built in uh, jsp servlets and uh, you can see j2e and uh, it's following the complete mbc market uh, architecture and built in by the help of maven tool so here you can see the source code uh, which is completely following the MVC architecture and for the front end I am using JSP and HTML and JavaScript CSS things and to maintain the database I am using the MySQL workbench on this and uh, a MySQL database and to run this project I am using the Tomkit server right so i'm going to show the demo the functionality and features of the project so i'm going to run this side click click on run server select a server it's going to run so this will be the home page of the application uh, here you can write your logo or you can check change the you can change that uh, uh, logo here or text here and here is the welcome to library management system message you can change the message according and here is the footer part which is the demo content is there if you want change you can change that content as well easily so first i'm going to log in as an admin so there will be two uh, actor of the application like first one will be the user and the another will be the admin so i'm going to first log in the as an admin so once admin will successfully log in uh, there will be some module so the first one is user module here the admin can see the data complete data of the user in the application right so there are three users right now on the database so it's showing the three records and the detail of the user now and this user can you can search a student name any student like a librarian uh, can search any student here by his name so for example i'm going to start this call here and click on search you can see the search is here so enter the library code to search here if user want to search by the library code so you can search this by the library so i think it's not working line not right now no, uh, there is a two uh, searching uh, inputs are there, so Kalia and so this combination is not there. That's why we need to remove this. And now I hit the search button. And you can search. Right, you can click on the next ten previous button. Once the record reached the, I think the count uh, is ten or from the next eleven, the button will be enabled. So another module is book dashboard. Here under the book dashboard, there is a two subsection: add book and books. It means the list of books which is available in the database so once an admin or a librarian will click on this issue button it means this book is uh, this book comic is already issued someone so it's not available uh, if admin wants to edit the data book name or author name he can edit it like I'm going to edit it so you may see. click on save the data is updated successfully and now check the book list you can see the data is updated and if you want to delete the record you can delete the record once before, before we delete the record we will search the record so here the search captions like by the e book code you can search any book here so here is the book and uh, if you want search by book name you can search by book name as well and okay it's also working if you want to search by the author name so you can search by the help of author name as well yes so um, here admin can delete the book as well like i want to delete this book so the book is deleted successfully right now it's not available in database and if admin wants or librarian wants to add a new book he will click on that book and enter book name here like I'm going to enter demo book book name and the author name will be the demo book name author just I'm going to click on save button the data is saved successfully now again we are going to check the books to confirm so here is the new entry is there already so when I click on that issue button 
this book will be issued to any student so the book code is this and we need to student code number we need to enter here the student code number that code number will you can check in the database first or if you take a real time scenario you can check the on the card of student there will be a card to student now that code number will return on that, uh, that ID card and for now I'm going to check the in database is a database for library management so we should do user and the library code is here you can see in the database so this code will be written on the id card and uh, we need to dis display that to show that id card at the time of issued book so for rows for that rows book there is a source code for the student this is the source code of the student issue date I am going to issue the today return date will be 28 let's click on save yeah data is successfully booked sorry data is successfully saved and uh, <coughs> now check the issued book or you can check the book list again you can see it's issued once that means it will never going to issue again to any anyone any other student after uh, he can once this button is enabled then he can uh, issue the book again now check the issue list issue book so we need to um, enter the book code here and the student code here and all the that things will work similarly and once I click on the issued book receipt so you can check uh, whom the book is uh, issued already and uh, here admin can change the password and once I click on the logout and uh, going to log in as a user going going log in as a user so the user we need to check in database so here is the user and password so I'm going to enter the username first then the password yeah so user can check the student can check his profile and issued book uh, which uh, is already issued to him and his history he can search the name by the name by the help of date or issue date something or uh, he can change the password as well click on the logout you can add a new user also a, a, a new student can register here so you need to enter all the details and click on the sign up page once you will enter the in the system you can log in from here so thank you so much for watching if you like the video and uh, please if you want the source code for your college submission or your final year project or your minor uh, minor project or if you want to submit this in your college or if you want this for learning purpose you can contact me that contact detail will be provided in the description box so you can send me a message on skype as well for quick reply and uh, the complete article regarding the price of the project and uh, and the functionality of the project the technology what i'm going to use i'm going to i will read an article write an article and you can check that on the below link which i'm going to provide in the description box so thank you